Di do di um ba di do da da do di di do bum be do. Hello everybody, Steve here, and today this is my entry into Chris Capoon's Win My Zarker 2 <clears throat> giveaway. And as you can see, I have a little bit of an issue. So when I first started learning how to pick locks last year, I got my cheap set from Amazon to start working on the pen and tumbler sets and at the same and then I and then I got you know I got a few locks and a few things to get started there and at the same time it's like well I want to learn those pin tumbler locks and I want to learn this dic dictator locks and I also wanted to learn dimple locks and so I got a cheap <clears throat> this dictator pick and other stuff and I got this cheap um, lock to get started with and so after a little while it's like okay I'm ready to get started and and so I got my cheap pick out of here and obviously this is not the the, uh, the best choice to use but it's like well this try this and see how it works and get started and we'll go from there so I got uh, I found you know basically the end off of a you know a regular lock like this I got this and I use that at yeah, it actually worked pretty good to turn all the discs to where I needed to go. And then I got my pick and I stuck it in there and I and I kind of adjusted things and moved this in and out until I found exactly, you know, until I tensioned on that first disc. And my yeah, it works pretty good. And, and then I put the tip in here and I'm like, oh, I can feel some. I'm like, well, let me, I'm not sure if I feeling just one disc or two discs at a time but I'll go all the way to the back and start going and and I went slowly out found the first disc and that turn and kind of went through through the lock finding the disc and turning them one by one and it seemed like everything was working well and still wasn't opening still having problems so then I started back through and then all of a sudden something weird and then I wasn't feeling anything. I was turning, nothing happening. So then I took my pick out, and guess what? This cheap, this cheap tool, busted the tip off, and I, and it jiggled the lock, and it came out, and and the tip broke. I didn't even get to open one lock with it before it broke, <laughs> but. I did get some of these so I could basically grind them down and make my own but I haven't gotten to that point yet so <clears throat> that is the story on my experience on this di dictator lock so far I can't excuse my pronunciation I can't talk tonight <laughs> but anyway so that is my full ex experience with these locks and when uh, Chris Capoon shows his videos on picking these locks and going through them I've learned quite a bit and stuff and I'm like okay I need to get started I need to get back into that sometime keep getting sidetracked into other things but <clears throat> then when he had his uh, giveaway come up I'm like well let me go ahead and put it in because that would mean that I could give me an excuse to either finally make my own um, lock pick and get this working right or maybe that might be a good excuse to get a better tool from somewhere like sparrows <laughs> something better than this uh, lock pick that was made in China <laughs> so anyway so 
<clears throat> I would like to say thank you Chris for putting this giveaway together and I wish everybody that enters good luck and if I do win then I can move this aside and put a little Zarker here and get a better tool and give me a good excuse to get going and start learning how to pick these locks so anyway thank you for watching and if you like what you saw please uh, give a like and, and subscribe and leave comments down below I'd love to hear what you guys say and thank you very much for watching and have a good day